Tara. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Andrew. Yeah, are you there? Yep, sorry Good. about that. Okay. Yep. And Q Tara. <laughs> My home truth is that I have eaten a diamond. <laughs> Why? I didn't mean to. I was at a restaurant in Paris and a guy put it in my pudding and he was so rat ass by pudding he yeah. forgot to tell me and I ate the whole thing. Was this in a restaurant? Yes, it was in a restaurant and in Paris. he put it in your pudding? Yeah. But by the time you got to pudding, he was too rat ass to remember. <laughs> in restaurants, they don't prepare pudding at the beginning of the meal and allow you to have a look at it and pop a diamond in it oh, so that later genius. on... None of this adds up. I'm sitting next to Quincy. He went... <laughs> Surprise her, so can you put this diamond in her pudding? So he gave them the and diamond. And then in we advance. had a row, and he got rat ass, and then I ate the diamond. End of. Right. <laughs> At what point did he remember that he'd put this <laughs> diamond in your pudding? Was it just after you'd eaten no, it? No, it wasn't just after. It was on the way back to while we were walking along the Seine. <laughs> Still arguing. What, what and then he went, went, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Could he have been lying yeah. in the same way that I... No, because I then went through Heathrow Airport and it went bring, 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 take off everything. No, no. And everything, and then it was oh. found to be held whoa, 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 in whoa, whoa, my pancreas. <laughs> They're called metal detectors, not diamond detectors. <laughs> yeah, but it's on metal. David, what are, what are you veering... Well, there are a lot of holes in the story, but then, you know, <laughs> maybe... Tara's just told it in a flaky way. Ah! Oh, you see, double bluff. I think it's... Why? Well, I know. Look, I, I heard about... you out there laughing at me. However, <laughs> I think, sure, there were areas where it didn't make sense. The metal detector, let it go. The bottom line is... <laughs> I bet you it's true. Yeah, but I think it's the crafty kind of thing the researchers would have thought, what's the kind of stupid, tough thing? <laughs> I'm going to go, it's a lie. He's saying it's a lie. He's overruling Claudia. Tara, fact or fantasy? It's true. Oh, it is absolutely true. true. Oh, it's true. I'm going to lie. I hear it. Yeah, it's true. Tara has eaten a diamond uh, when it was left in her dessert. Hard to know what's more surprising. Tara not noticing she'd eaten a diamond or that she once ate a whole pudding. <laughs> Known what happened to the diamond, but if you're in a Paris sewer and see a rat driving a Ferrari, you'll know who found it. <laughs> I have been shopping in Sainsbury's wearing nothing but a trench coat. <laughs> I think that's true. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you just want to see that long it. pause after she said it when we all went. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do this thing? Because um, it was just like a joke with a friend. It was just a silly girl thing we just decided to do about ten years ago. Did you have any ago. shoes on? Yeah. I mean, I had a trench coat on. It's not, like, completely offensive. I wasn't going out like Jodie Marsh. <laughs> of course not, no. Um, Is that rude? I mean, quite frankly, I'm, half the time I go down to the local place in my pyjamas and just buy something, so I can't really so see the I. big deal. You go to the shop in your pyjamas? <laughs> yeah. Don't say like it's normal. <laughs> I did it, actually, today. I put a coat on over the me nighty and go down the shop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's getting worse. You wear a nighty. Yeah. I do actually, yeah. <laughs> um, this is all uh, fascinating. We um, think this is true. David, do you believe? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is true, okay. yeah. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Obviously. I can identify any breed of dog just by hearing it growl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do a demonstration of a rock filer. Woof. <laughs> He can't imitate dogs. He just can recognise the growls. OK, what's this one? Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> it's a rock viler. No, it's a St. Bernard. No. And can not. you distinguish between, like, golden Labradors and black Labradors? Yes. Really? What's the oh. difference between a golden one and a black one? You're such a liar. Well, they... <laughs> some go woof and the other do a slightly different woof. <laughs> I met Dave in 1990 when I passed out at the top of Mont Blanc because the altitude, the air was so thin, and you very kindly helped me down with the party you were guiding down the peak. Let me ask about Mont Blanc. So, so were you skiing or were you mountain? No, I was actually on a photo shoot. It was at the top there, and that's where I passed out because the altitude was so thin, and um, he helped me down. Where's Dave, Dave from? 
<laughs> you can't speak, you can't ask. No, I'm asking yeah, you, yeah. where's he from? <laughs> He's French. He's French. <laughs> <laughs> Dave is a mate of mine from down the pub, Colin Bestie. Um, he makes £40,000 a year on pub trivia machines. He makes forty grand a year, a year. from... What's his favourite subject? Uh, just general knowledge, I think. You think? I think so, yeah. Well, oh, no, I don't I... follow him round, I just, I just happen to know. Where does he I think you're telling... Oh, no. 37. Oh, no. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Oh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I think you... <laughs> Get the hang of it. I um, I've heard about people making money from fruit machines, but oh. not quiz machines. I think the most likely story is Lee's at the moment. And you don't seem to be considering Tara's at all. <laughs> <laughs> we don't absolutely know Tara's wrong. Uh, you might... don't absolutely know, but I think if the clue was what she said to Dave. I think you're telling the truth. <laughs> yeah, she... That could be me just bluffing. You not now you've said that. that. <laughs> but Tara could be. could be playing this game on a higher level than any of us. <laughs> Right. Yeah. You think it's true? Yeah, definitely. Tara, you've got a machine that dries you when you come out of the shower. Yeah. Yeah, I do, actually. How do you know that? The Filipino boy told him. It's <laughs> a what? It's just air. It just kind of, it's like a whole room. It just air well, you. Well, most people have air in their bathrooms. But... <laughs> <laughs> what, hey, what, it's very unhygienic to dry with towels, apparently. Right. How many hey. people die of towel-related diseases? <laughs> This is a level of hygiene that clearly doesn't actually matter. No, let me tell like you. Like when they say there are more germs on your chopping board than are on your Lucy. <laughs> well, if that's so, it clearly doesn't matter, does it? Because <laughs> they don't do anything And to I you. just say before you shoot me, I didn't design my bathroom. Someone else put the air in. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're going to push you for an answer. Uh, I'm going to let... Uh, True, Tara make the true, decision. True, true. Uh, but you are team captain, your word is final. Yeah. Okay, that's true. Yeah, because he follows, I've got him under my spell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see if they are remotely it correct. Is a true. Yay! It's a truth. This is Richard, and he's illustrating my forthcoming children's book, The Lonely Lighthouse. This book, David, could you just tell us a little bit about The Lonely Lighthouse? <laughs> <laughs> Well, yes, I could. Laugh. Is it autobiographical? <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. That's a, yes. that's a low blow. Yes, it's about, <laughs> it's about a, a desolate building standing alone is finally demolished. <laughs> this box contains the only gift I've ever been sent by a fan. Did you get a letter with it? Yes. What did it say? Uh, Die. <laughs> <laughs> Do not. <laughs> yes. It was a, just a nice, I like your work. Man or woman? Letter. Woman. Did you write back to her and thank her? I didn't, no. Did you didn't you? thank her? God, you're so ungrateful. Why, would you write back to a fan? Yeah, I, Why well, I answer all mine. Do you? Do you? Well, yep. somebody does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, clouds were once removed from the sky so that Paul McCartney could perform Good Day Sunshine at a concert. Sorry, what do you mean? Well, you can move clouds if you really want. You, what you do is, you can either fly a plane over it and drop silver, yeah. silver oxide on it, or you can shoot a rocket into the cloud. You can basically steal other people's rain if you do that. The clouds going over. Oh, is this a dream? No, you can do it. <laughs> so you're telling me that it's possible to move no, the clouds? I think clouds. it's true. Yeah, you have to have it's, a lot of it money. It does sound like a stupid question, but why would he move the cloud? Well, because good the, day sunshine, good, good day yeah. sunshine. It can't be good bold cloudy day sunshine. It's just, it's the song's called Good Day Sunshine. It doesn't mean you have to have the cloud move. Yeah, did but he, if when he McCartney. sang Don't Let Me Down, did he gaff tape himself to a lamppost? <laughs> it's like at my twenty-first, I didn't want is. clouds, so my dad had them removed. What? <laughs> at my twenty-first, it was outside, and we didn't have a marquee, so remove the clouds. Yeah. He no, did, what, he, did he really? Did he send up planes? I mean, yeah, he, two you planes. Know, you, did, did you honestly, at your twenty-first birthday, get a cloud moved? No. I got more than one. There was oh my god! <laughs> the whole sky just over our house in Hampshire was blue. Yeah. Just to match my dress. You spoiled bitch. <laughs> oh, <that's> incredible. <laughs> I might just add that that was a lie. Of oh, course, my lie. dad didn't have clouds removed, and I never even had a twenty-first. God, you guys are so gullible. <laughs> <laughs> 
the sun slightly shifted to the right, but not the clouds. <laughs> Tara, why have you started lying to your own teeth? <laughs> Lying is a, is a skill that's useful in this game, but you've found a way of using it that doesn't help you. <laughs> <laughs> but to your answer. The fact is, you definitely can do it. The, the question is, did Paul McCartney have it done no, for this honestly, one day? No, honestly, and they were removed at my 21st. I just didn't like you it did, when you really? said spoilt bitch, but, so I lied. But, yeah, it was a double bluff. But, yeah, I think oh, you did have it done, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. OK, well, so we can keep it in, cos I don't want yeah. to lose that story. I'd like to redress my comments. No, that's true. That's a really good idea. Well done for being so wealthy. <laughs> Did you really have that? Though? Yeah, you could do it. You don't need a big old Gulf Stream, just a little plane. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, actually, it's not a thing about being rich. It's slightly to do with being rich. If well, you get a plane to move yeah, a cloud, it doesn't, I'm saying it doesn't have to be a Learjet. I mean, we live on a farm. You yeah, as opposed oh, to these few. council estate Cessna light aircraft, you mean? <laughs> Yeah. Do you think some of the problems of drought in Africa have been caused by too many people having 21st birthday parties <laughs> too close to each other? Lee? Well, uh, well I, I, what do you think, Tara? What are we well, saying? I think it's true. Okay. You must have used my plane. <laughs> uh, I think it's absolute rubbish. Uh, well, I'm going to go with Tara because if she knows about moving weather, I'm, I'm going I'm to go with that. Do you want to marry me now? <laughs> Say, hand on heart, without a hint of irony, you are, without doubt, the most frightening person I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> but I've always been like this. My grandparents were brother and sister. <laughs> That's more extraordinary than any fact we've had on the show so far. Are you saying it's true or untrue? I'll, You're going I'll, for true. I'll go with Crazy Lil and say. <laughs> And say it is. I'll say, I'll say it's absolutely uh, uh, <laughs> spiffing well true. Okay, and I can uh, tell you that it is absolutely <laughs> true. Well done. So are we trying to say if it's true or not? Well done. <laughs> <laughs> well done. We're halfway through and you've got the rules. Sorry. I'm okay. going to just say whatever you say. <laughs> okay, take all your clothes off. <laughs> oh, you love a bit of carrot. <laughs> Tara. What? <laughs> <laughs> OK, Ian. Yeah, are you Hi. there? Yep, sorry Good. about that. OK. Yep. And cue Tara. My home truth is that I have eaten a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I didn't mean to. I was at a restaurant in Paris and a guy put it in my pudding and he was so rat ass by pudding he forgot to tell me and I ate the whole thing. <laughs> Was this in a restaurant? Yes, it was in a restaurant. And you put Paris. it in your pudding. Yeah. But by the time you got to pudding, he was too rat ass to remember. <laughs> <laughs> in restaurants, they don't prepare pudding at the beginning of the meal and allow you to have a look at it and pop a diamond in it oh, so that later genius. on none of this adds up. I'm sitting next to Quincy. He went. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I want a surprise her, so can you put this diamond in her pudding? So he gave them the and diamond And then we advance. had a row and he got rat assed and then I ate the diamond. End of. <laughs> right. At what point did he remember that he'd put this diamond in your pudding? Was it just after you'd eaten it? No, it wasn't just after. It was on the way back to... Well,